Yeah. Money what it do, this your boy Money J in the yeah. building, man, from Kanye Music and them boy. Black Circle Boys, man. Yeah. I'm down here in NC, I man. Hustle. I used to hustle up there on Glenwood and Columbia Drive back home in Decatur, man. And, and the big homie Akon just happened to come through the spot, man. And my two homegirls gave him a CD, so he rolled up the street and he came right back. He loved the music, so he signed me right down the spot. Well, you know, eight months later, so it, it was really a blessing over that way, you know what I'm saying? I see my career expanding heavily. Like, it it, it, it probably will, will be beyond belief, anything I can ever imagine. Akon did uh, three songs for me. I got two of them with him. They'll be on the album. Uh, we, we came together on two songs. They some real nice songs, too. Y'all go ahead. Uh, it was cool working with Sonny. It's funny, because, uh, when I got the Death Row track, I didn't meet Sonny personally. Uh, my big homie Bo brought the track over, who managed him, and, and I fell in love with the beat when I heard it. Then I met Sonny later, and it was chemistry from there, you know what I'm saying? We done did about 10, 20 songs together. We got like three or four. We got some mixtape stuff coming out, you know what I'm saying? So much love to Sonny Digital, man. Uh, I, I was, the, the way I came up with that song, man, I was really smoking a blunt watching that old Tupac hit him up, uh, performance at the House of Blues. And I was listening to some of that Dr. Dre and some of that Snoop, man. And, and that's when I got the line, like, back in 9-4, I would have signed a death row. Like, that's how I felt, you know what I'm saying? Then, then my little brother got locked up, and a lot of my close partners got locked up. They was hustling, man. So I just made the second line. I got a couple partners on who on death row. But now I'm signing the Crane Vic and my new McLaren. You know how I did it, you know what I'm saying? It, it was all based on events that was happening around me. It made me a lot more humble. Like, coming up, I, I really didn't have too much. We had four kids, so, you know, it, it was hard to spread money around and, and get what you wanted. We didn't have Jordans and all that. My, my folks did a good job, but we didn't have Jordans. We had no fresh clothes and all that. So, you know, I had to hustle. I started hustling young. I started hustling when I was, like, 13 years old or something like that. So it, it turned me strong and into a hustler. In Atlanta, I, I have a way different – music because you know I, it, it, you really can't compare it to nobody really it's 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 unique in a certain way that it's reality music all i rap about is what i go through daily the situations i go through and how i feel about certain things mainly akon and sunny digital and a couple more key players who producers you know what i'm saying but the album i'm gonna surprise everybody with a couple features on that so I don't want to get out of the way. It's not too many people. I, I you know, I, I would do a song with um, Young Money. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I fuck with their whole movement. I like their whole, whole swag over that way. So I, I would try and do a song with some of their artists. Next big move, man, is LA tour. We, we, we touring the West Coast and we bringing Death Row back over that way. So biggest move gonna be when we go out to LA, start performing this death row, you know what I'm saying? This your boy Money J checking in the field, man. Y'all know how to tune in the groundbreaking video production. Y'all already know how we do. Black Circle Boys in the building, cutting the music in the field. Y'all know we mess with y'all along, man. I buy my chicks